Can I begin by asking you, when you've been involved in cases, prosecuting people for the sexual abuse of minors, sexual assaults on underage girls, murder, triple murder, manslaughter, many cases of child abuse, what is the emotional and psychological effect of all of this on you yourself, absorbing every detail as a Crown Prosecutor? Alan, it's hard to say what I'd be like had I not had that life. But one thing it is, has always done for me is make me realise that my life is, is very blessed and lucky. So it, it does at least enable me to uh, see small problems in proper perspective, not to be a whinger, not to be too much of a worrier about uh, things that, that might happen in my own sphere, because they're nothing compared to the suffering mm. that other people Wonderful. have to maintain and, and put up with. The Boxing Butterfly, who came up with the title? My, uh, my co-author, Andrew Urban, and it's, it doesn't uh, uh, take too much imagination. <laughs> it's not, it's not, I'm not really Cassius Clay, uh, but I, I am a bit of a boxer. And the butterfly, of course, was the reference by a former ICAC commissioner to how much fun it is to go anywhere you like in ICAC. Mm. It's like pulling the wings off butterflies. Dreadful, absolutely dreadful. Well done, Megan Latham. Those comments can be attributed to you. So to all you viewers out there who want to navigate your way through the details of these extraordinary cases. We'll just look at a couple of these things if we might tonight, uh, Margaret. The Canaan shooting. Now, you write that this fellow Canaan, this is astonishing stuff, and his three accomplices were, quote, armed on their way to kill a King's Cross identity. When Constable Patrick and Senior Constable John Fotopoulos stopped their car and got out of it and gave chase to this bloke on foot, Canaan turned around and shot at the police officers, wounding Constable Patrick. Senior Constable Fotopoulos returned fire, shooting Canaan in the buttocks, legs and wrists. As Margaret says, it stopped Canaan's murder spree. But when the matter came before Magistrate O'Shane, you say, Margaret, that she, quote, described the pursuit of Canaan and his co-offenders as stupid, reckless and foolhardy and indicative of police harassment of youth. How did you handle that? I wasn't in the case at that at that point, but it was so it was so dreadful that the, the police hadn't been commended for their extreme bravery. And and indeed the the the, uh, the crime spree did stop. Canaan had killed at least five people by that night and he was out to kill a, a, a sixth or another one. They were, they were all, he and his mates were all tooled up and ready to go. And so that un inevitably, uh, undeniably, uh, 